I know I have not made a video in a long time and I'm super sorry, but I thought today I would just walk around in the greenhouse and just show you some stuff, show you some things I've been up to. Um, I've been so busy because, you know, here it's starting to get cold. In fact, last night it was 44 degrees, so I had to bring a bunch of stuff in, like my hibiscus and other things that, that weren't succulents. But anyway, I thought I'd just kind of walk around and tell you what's been going on because this greenhouse is kind of a mess right now and also you know I run that plant group here in central Arkansas and we are having our next swap meet at the end of this month and so I've been trying to do lots of stuff to get ready for that um so anyway let me just this is just a bunch of random stuff right here um actually last night I did this I took a bunch of little cuttings like all my little echeverias and things that were making babies um not all of them like there's there's some hawartheas and stuff but uh, just anything i could break a piece off of or cut a piece off of i'm putting those in there and i'm keeping them kind of in the shade because um i need them to root but they should have plenty of time because the meat is isn't till october 29th if any of you guys know what this is let me know Give me just one second. My dog is, our new puppy is outside chewing something. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm sorry, but you know, I have my sink over there and I just washed out a bunch of stuff. And so it, it goes out the other side of the greenhouse into the yard and there's a little pipe that it comes out and it's made of PVC and our new puppy just thinks that's the greatest thing to chew on. But anyway, so these are some cuttings that I, I did last night, just kind of some random stuff, just a little bit of everything really. There's some panda plants and etcheveries and different things. Um, got a few uh, lifesaver plants. I would show you my lifesaver bloom, but it just, in fact, I'll show you, it, it actually just closed up. Sorry, I know I'm moving fast. I've been told not to move the camera fast. Let me go slow. See, my little lifesaver closed up already, but I think I could have sworn, could have sworn I saw another bloom coming, but maybe not. Anyway, this is a really bad area. This is beheading land. So this is where I have all my stuff that I've beheaded. Um, this doesn't look like it's beheaded, but it was and uh let's see i've had this thing forever i've got to get rid of this anyway um let me show you what else i did for the um for the swap this is my really pretty afterglow you can tell she's very thirsty i'm gonna water her as soon as i get off the camera let's see here i've got a lot of these that i've taken cuttings of the uh the variegated ghost plants and this whole thing, these were all variegated and then I cut them all off and right now they don't look variegated, um, but they start variegating. They have, some of them are starting to variegate. I don't know if you can tell, but pretty much everything that I've cut off of here has variegated again. So I just, when I see a variegated one, I cut it off and I take another cutting. Um, same thing here. These are ones that I, you can tell I, I chopped them and so new ones are growing off. So pretty soon I'll, I'll probably cut these off for the swap meet too, uh, but it'll just keep making more. So let me show you uh, what else I did. These are some of my desert roses that I grew from seeds. Kind of been neglecting them. That's why the bottoms don't look so fat, but um, I have three different varieties I'm growing right now. I will try to um, see how that says clume and this one says uh tong and then there should be one you can barely see it but it says mango but uh anyway i know what they are i'll show you what they're gonna look like here's another afterglow and then a bunch of random leaf babies that I just stuck in there but let me show you okay here's what else i did last night so these are all just four inch pots and same thing i just took cuttings of some different things i had like there's a lifesaver plant and um, just some different things. There's the um, Rombo Pilosa Pies from Heaven. Here's a few ghost plants that are starting to variegate. 
and you know just just a few other things in fact just regular old aloe and man my aloe was so out of control i gave a bunch of it away i threw a bunch in here and then i also made all these other pots I know I need to sweep. Don't even say anything. I made all those pots. I got that one, those ones. I even got some over here, but man, I got so much aloe vera. If you need any, just let me know. Um, here's something else that I did. So I had some random stuff laying around. Like this is an Echeveria Mediba. You know, those come from Korea. So this is a, a Korean hybrid, but basically this is all stuff that I'm just going to sell at our swap meet. So I've got some different aloes, some more of my uh, desert roses. Uh, this is Echeveria Pink Sea. That's Haworthia Malgany or Malgany. I don't know how to say it, but I, I can put it on the screen. Um, Haworthia Silver Queen. What else is back there? Oh, there's a monkey tail. I got a few monkey tails left. Um, and then up here, these are some more of my desert roses with the different names on them. Those are pretty popular. Uh, and by the way, you probably already know this, but if you don't, if you get a desert rose, they're really cool, but the sap inside is extremely toxic, especially to children and dogs. So don't ever uh, put them anywhere where they can get them. And then just for fun, I decided to plant 72 more seeds and they do really well as long as you keep the soil wet the whole time and it stays warm. And so even though it's been cold at night, I've been closing the doors in the greenhouse and turning on the heater. So I'm keeping it at least 55, but you can see I'm keeping plenty of water in there so that they always stay nice and moist. But um, let me show you, there was something else. Uh, oh yeah. So these are also things that I'm going to get rid of at the swap, hopefully. So just some random stuff like Echeveria salmon. That's so pretty. I love those. Um, Lowies. I've got some Lowies. There's some trumpet pinkies. All oh, that poor guy needs water. You can tell. Uh, anyway, there's a few things I need to do when I get off here, clearly. Um, this is pretty cool. I have a few of these. These are the Sulco Rebutia Rauschii. Um, they're cute little clusters. I thought about just keeping one of them and just breaking it into a whole bunch of different pieces and making new plants, but whatever. This is uh, Echeveria Moonstone. This is, um, this was just one big variegated ghost plant, but uh, uh, some bugs were eating through the middle of it, and I thought, well, I'll just leave it alone, and so now these guys grew out of it, so now I need to figure out how to cut those off. Um, I did bring in a little bit of my mint that I'm gonna try to salvage. I have tons of mint growing outside, but um, I thought I'd just save just the ancy wancy bit and maybe I can just plant some more. So um, let me show you something else. This, oh, I had to bring in my hanging basket. Some of them look better than others. This poor thing. This used to be the prettiest donkey tail just hanging down, or uh, burrow's tail. And it fell, and so I had to just salvage what was left. That's why this just looks so sad. But I took a lot of pieces from it that um, that didn't uh, mess up too bad. And so I'm making a new pot with those. But this is what I really wanted to show you. This is my monkey tail. This is so pretty. This was this literally started from a little piece this big that someone gave me in a plant swap, um, a mailing swap group. And from that little piece about this big, I've grown all this and I've taken cuttings as you can see. So when you when you cut the end off, you know, you got that callus and I didn't think anything would grow back out of it, but I may just keep cutting this off and making new ones. But uh, I love this monkey tail. They're so soft and pretty. Um, yeah, here's another place where I took a cutting. In fact, it wasn't making a lot of branches for a long, long time and then Finally, I decided to take some cuttings just to give some people some, and that's when it really started multiplying. So I think the more you pull off of it, I think they do better maybe, I don't know, but that's how mine really started to um, to make a lot more. Uh, I wanted to show you these. These are the uh, Euphorbia Lactea, you know, the ghost Euphorbia. 
really shouldn't be touching them. They're probably going to stab me. And I'm trying to get away from prickly stuff. That one's just not standing up. Good. Let's put some more rocks there. But anyway, um, they did have a few branches that I did cut off to make more. Not not those little ones, but they had bigger ones. Well, that one's got spider webs. But anyway, um, I have had some stuff get damaged. This is the south side of my greenhouse where it gets the absolute most sun. So a lot of things over here are super thirsty, like this one and this one, or they're just burnt, like this poor Lola right here. But uh, I am gonna move some things around. This Lola's doing okay. In fact, you know, everyone calls these Lolas, but they're actually not. Um, there's a whole debate about this, but I'll, I'll see if I can put the real name on the screen. Uh, but uh, this is one of my desert roses that I grew. Um, it's split into two, so I thought I'd keep that one. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't see that, but it's okay. I have lots of stuff, and I do a lot of propagating, so they'll be fine. Um, I just took a bunch of cuttings off these things uh, last night, actually. That's why... I have those trays and stuff, but I'm uh, trying to look around and see if there's anything exciting to show you. Um, this dragon fruit right here, I've got to just cut some pieces off, but I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm never going to grow it into a big enough plant to actually make dragon fruit, but anyway, isn't this the cutest little pot? It's a Shiba Inu. And, um, well... Oh yeah, there's there's one of the ones that I cut off of the of the euphorbia. So, oh, there's two more right there. So I have them kind of laying around, but um, yeah, some things look good, some things really need some work. But I've been so busy, like I gotta pull off all these. Oh, that's my leaf from that one. But anyway, um, I do have work to do, but I'm going to right now just focus on getting ready for the cold weather and also this plant swap that we have coming up. Um, when I have time, I'll do my OCD leaf picking and sweeping. But anyway, I just wanted to update you guys because I haven't um, done a video in a while and I'm always willing to do a video if there's something you'd like me to do a video on. I know I've done lots of videos on, you know, beheading and taking cuttings and, uh, and different things. But if there's something specific you'd like a video on, uh, let me know. I will go ahead and tell you if you do follow my channel, you know, I started that video on growing the succulents from seeds. And like I said, we have a puppy now. Um, in addition to our other dogs and one day he knocked over several of them and so I figured I would just scrap that project and order new seeds and start that over so I've ordered the new seeds they've come in I just haven't redone it and knowing what I know now I will cook the soil even more and at a higher temperature because even uh, when I did start growing a few a few plants did start but uh, there was some mold in there. So I apparently didn't get rid of all the mold and I also need to come up with something to spray it with that's safe enough to not kill seedlings, but to also, um, you know, keep, keep the whole thing from molding. But anyway, thank you guys as always for watching. If you have any suggestions of anything you would like me to do a video on, I would love to. Um, any comments are appreciated. I'm sorry I don't post as much. I've just been busy with life, full-time job, four dogs, husband, greenhouse, plant club, a thousand other things. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.